my hello and welcome to all of you i am dr sachin psychiatry faculty at dams and today i have dr lakshmi she is from uh, kerala dam center and she has secured a rank of 149 yes yes sir in all india rank in neat pg 2024 congratulations lakshmi and thank you very much for being with us today thank you sir it's a very honor to talk to you how are you feeling right now lakshmi i am so happy sir happy satisfied yes. yes so great to hear tell us about yourself uh, sir i am a 2017 mbbs student from government medical college tiruvannadavaram hmm. and i am from uh, kollam district hmm. then okay when did you start preparing your for your neat pg Uh, sir I, i was a pre foundation student from dams only i started my journey from second year onwards okay. then so how, uh, i take uh, foundation please. and after house rnc i took the neat pg tnd course so tell us from the beginning uh, from second year what motivated you to start so early because i have seen in kerala mostly students start preparing after internship ends what motivated you to start early sir at, at the first time i am uh, no, i am from a non medical background so i don't know about pg preparation and all and uh, one of my friend uh, said that uh, they are conducting class uh, so we can go and attend the demo class the first class was by anatomy by sandeep madan sir and it uh, it was very uh, it was a very nice class that i was very interested uh, uh, to attend the class so i joined i i took the course later and uh, started attempting the uh, pre foundation class it was a we sat class uh, so we have to walk to the center but i like the uh, i like the class very much mm. and so do you think starting early gives you some advantage yes sir uh, very much advantage i uh, at my uh, first mbbs uh, i i i have not uh, my marks were very low means uh, i didn't get distinction and after joining dams only i got distinction in my university exams and uh, and final year also i got distinction so i am very happy sir great so second okay. mbbs you attended which all subjects only second year or you attended first year as well no sir uh, second year and first year complete uh, and only some portion of pathology general pathology was only pending but uh, rest of all i uh, take the class for the pre foundation itself and then when you joined again in third mbbs how did you prepare in third mbbs Yes, sir. Uh, the third MBBS I started from February, and uh, at the end of March, lockdown came. So I was uh, I was at home, and uh, Dam started the online class at that time. So uh, I used my time to prepare the notes mainly, and I co- completed all the subjects, including the pending ones from the first and second year also. so all the 19 subject notes were with me uh, at the t- third year itself sir that is great achievement because mostly student make notes after they start coaching but you made it in the second and third mbbs itself that's a great yes. thing yes sir that Then helped me final... helped me very much in the final provisional exam sir in the kuhas um, kuhas yes, university exam sir also i uh, i am i was one of the topper in the final year mbbs exam in my batch three great, toppers great. were there and i was one of them sir only because of dam sir my foundation became so great that i could achieve that then uh, in internship you must not have got time to study because i know in gmc trivandrum yes sir heavy yes sir and after we... internship completed you joined tnd again yes sir i joined tnd course and how was your experience with tnd uh, at first i uh, didn't follow the schedule but i managed to study uh, complete all the tnd 
and it was very useful sir because uh, the teacher we, we can understand the teacher's approach to a question and we can understand what what are the important topics and we can uh, stress on that topic so that helped me a lot sir great also uh, that uh, question solving skill we can develop only from tnd i think because that thinking process uh, if we self do that i i don't think we can learn that much because mm -hmm. uh, teachers are putting the questions in the main exam also so we can learn a teachers approach from the tnd course Great. so it was very useful sir apart from tnd any other source in dams that you use that uh, dvt or cbt Ah, yes, sir. Uh, I attended the DVT online and it was a very, very great resource, sir. Uh, I would say everyone should, if in any other platform also, they should uh, always attempt the DVT because it's prepared by 30 teachers and uh, all the PYQs and PYTs are included in the uh, DVT. And uh, in the last two weeks, I used only the 20th notebook and DVT to revise, sir. So it was a very great resource. And I also attempted 3-4 uh, CBT also, sir. Uh, it, it gave me an uh, exam environment uh, to how to manage the trust, stress and all uh, the time management. That all, it, it was very helpful, sir. OK, great. OK. So, considering this year NEET PG paper, students were saying it was a little atypical paper. So, if somebody wants to prepare for next year NEET PG, what is your advice for them? Uh, so, I, I would uh, say to uh, complete the notes first uh, and then uh, uh, we should uh, revise the, uh, solve the question bank at the time of class itself. You should revise the notes and attend the DQB is a wonderful source for that because uh, teachers are giving the short crisp videos and the DQB goat. So uh, you should attend the uh, question bank uh, at the time of preparing the notes itself. Then uh, you should start revision and uh, while uh, preparing the notes itself, we should attempt GTs. It's a very important thing, sir. Uh, at least monthly GT at the initial phase of preparation. And then uh, towards the end, twice, uh, once in two weeks, GT. And uh, then towards the last month, monthly, uh, weekly GT, all should be doing, sir. Okay. Then uh, all should attend the DVT for sure. Then CBTs are also very helpful helpful sir okay any message that you would like to give to undergraduate starting preparation do you think starting preparation early is important yes sir uh, starting preparation is early is very important because uh, without uh, foundation without a strong foundation we can't build a building uh, a multi story building it will it will only collapse and it's important to have a strong foundation only then we can lay the stones and uh, the concepts and all uh, otherwise uh, starting early is very important sir it has helped me a lot thank you so much lakshmi for telling us about it before we finally close this interview any person that comes to your mind who has been a part of this journey in your family friends or teachers Yes, sir. Uh, my uh, family has always been my father and mother, uh, always their support. Uh, when There were times when I was very down and my uh, parents support me. Uh, they always tell me that not to think so much about the result. Uh, concentrate on your work and the results are not in your hand. So we should only control what we can control. We should all, always uh, focus on what we can control because the rest Great. is not in our hands and also my seniors are especially uh my senior abhishek chetan uh, he also 
was a very uh, helpful sir he guided me a lot and all the uh, faculty sir especially sumer sir deepthi ma'am uh, sir sachin sir and every faculty sir also the telegram quizzes i i would definitely sir everyone should follow the telegram quiz it was a very very useful thing sir uh, especially the daily quizzes uh put in the dams official telegram channel i uh, daily attend those quizzes and it uh, also deepthi ma'am kashish sir siddhar sir then uh, every everyone sir uh, then oftal um, uh, sabrav sir manish sir uh, then pediatrics uh, ashutosh sir then sandeep madan sir all every quizzes i attend sir also uh, your telegram group uh, daily quizzes uh, then sumer sir every uh, group i was a member sir i attend the quizzes and it was uh, i found it very useful sir great it was such a pleasure talking to you so what is the branch that you are planning to specialize in uh, sir md general medicine sir we great so we wish you the best for your md medicine journey and hope to see you someday soon thank you so yes. much for talking to us lakshmi thank you thank you thank you so much sir <laughs>